Hi guys, I hope you're ready because I think I'm going to be making a mess. I purchased this tie-dye fashion kit from Dollarama and this will only be my second time. So welcome to my channel. I'm Lady Jana and let's make a mess. This kit I purchased at Dollarama, I believe it was $5. I don't really remember. It's not indicated on the box but I'm pretty sure it was five. So in this box, we have six different colors, dye colors. Uh, we have a scarf, a headband, and a crunchy. So this is what I'm going to try to tie dye. So let's go ahead, open the box, and then we'll see if I, if I can follow the instructions carefully and not make a mess. That's why I have these. <laughs> I'm going to be moving these aside and opening the box, but it should be easy because I've already opened it. I got the instructions out just to see. The only thing I will not do following the instruction is to wash the material. I don't believe it needs washing, but then I could be mistaken. So let's open this up, put this aside. So we've got colors we just need to add water in these okay so these are the material let's take a look put everything aside so this is the crunchy just crunchy not the crunchy and yep yeah, it's a it's a crunchy it's crunchy i don't know why i say crunchy all the time And this one, if I can open it, this one will be da -da -da -da, the bandana. Okay, it's nice. Not too bad. And then we've got our scarf. Oh, this is a big one. And then in this package, we've got some elastic. And also we have our gloves, which we need. Oh, there's a few pairs. Oh, that is nice. I thought there was only one pair, but no. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so let's put these aside. Now I need to understand the colors. So this is a yellow. Oh, this looks like a yellow as well. Is there like two yellows? Is that? Oh no, it's a green, a yellow. I've got to go with the tips. We have pink, blue, and purple. I'm going to start with, let's start with three, three colors. Okay, I'm going to start with the blue, uh, the, um, the purple and the pink. Before I do that though, let me just prepare the material. So what do I want? He, um, I think I just want like spots. So I'm just going to leave it as is and just add little spots here and there. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not gonna put any elastic. So this is my first. The second one, let's think about the bandana. What do I want? I think I want like lines like this. The, la the first time that I made these, I made such a mess and it was so awful. It was not even funny. I didn't like the results. So that's why I am I want to have good results with this. So let's do it this way. And I'm going to add rubber bands. Let's go one. What I want to do is I want this portion a color, this portion another color, another color, and another color. And that's, that's how I intend to do this one and one in the middle let's see hopefully i'm going to be able to to get this right so this is how i set up the bandana the headband Ooh, yeah so this is how i set up the headband and now for the scarf I really, really don't know how to do it. Let's do it this way, and then this way. Let's 
let's see. Because I do not want to mess this up. I really like this. This is so fun. It's a really, really large scarf. This is 100% cotton, by the way, like this. And I think I'm going to do the same as the headband. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to stick with everything being the same. So this is how, I just need to find the middle. Okay, so this is my middle. Put the elastic in. Oh, put the elastic in first and then find the middle. This. And see if I can do another turn. There we go. And I want another one in the middle like this. Just, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, but it would be fun. And then, same. So that would be another one here. Since I, I still have an elastic, I'll put one more here, like so. And then one here. Oh, two more elastics. So I'm going to add this one right here. And I think I will be removing this tag. I don't need the tag. Okay, there we go. So this goes in here. So since this is larger, I'll do that one last. I think I'm going to start with scrunchy first. All my bottles have been filled up. If you're wondering where I got these aluminum foil or containers, I got them at Dollarama, of course. Okay. I'm just wondering, do I have to um, wet this? Because right now it's not even going into the scrunchie. Let me just dab this. I'm going to go and wet my scrunchie. Okay, now my scrunchie is all wet. So let's try that again. Oh yes, you've got to wet it. Perfect. So this means I'll have to wet it. I don't want all to mix together. So it's okay. No, I think that should be enough for this Reggie. Yes. Uh, so maybe I should put a little bit of, let me just add a little bit of red though. Okay. I would like just a tiny bit of red on the side. Right here. And here. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I think I'm satisfied with my scrunchie. Next, I'm going to be doing this one. This is the uh, the headband, or I call it a, bandan a bandana, but it's a headband. So let me just go wet this, and we'll do the same for different colors. So which one am I going to choose? I have not tried the purple one yet, so let's let's use that one. So I'm looking, but hopefully it doesn't a little more than the scrunchie. Not too close to the rubber bands. I don't want to pass the rubber bands. Okay, so let's move it past the around. I'll try my best to keep it on the other side. Okay, so that's enough. Let's see. You know what? I think that's enough. Oops, I just messed up. Okay, it is messed up. If you notice, there are some colors I just messed up. Oh, well, that's what it is, I guess. So next, I'm going to go with green. So hopefully, I should turn up with green. Oh, I like green. It's 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 green. So I'm gonna say that after you, you miss this, you're not supposed to like, keep it after 45 minutes, you're not supposed to like, keep it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing it, I'll just like, 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 I'll just tie-dye is all about okay so we're done with this one the scarf now since this scarf is so big I'm going to be using a bigger plate like this <clears throat> this is also all wet we're going to start with the color and there's one two three four five six seven eight up until now I did not make a lot of mess so it is perfect it's great let's start with the yellow I can't get this so 
Okay, so we'll just leave it at that. I'm not doing any more. That would be it. So let me just put all of the caps on and then these will go in here. Now I'll take care of those a little bit later. Okay, so now this is what I have. So the next step, I'm going to, I need to wrap this in plastic. I'm going to use this again. Purchase that at Dollarama, but you can get those anywhere. Now this needs to stay wet for at least six to eight hours. And after the six hours or eight hours, I need to rinse them off and then to dry them. So once they've been rinsed and dried, I will show you exactly what I got. Hi guys, so I finished the tie-dye uh, project. So this is my little scrunchie. I got my headband. This is how it came out. And also my scarf, which it's actually quite a mess. I don't love it. I don't hate it. So could you leave in the comment section why the, I didn't get the results? I'm thinking is the, it's the way that I folded, especially the scarf. I think it's the way that I folded the scarf. It did not come out great. I do believe there's a technique to this more than what was on the uh, instructions. There are some people that do great, great, great work, but this is not my thing. This is not the best work I've ever done. If you would like to share with me your experience, please don't hesitate. As for the kit, it has everything you need. It does have the instructions. I would leave this to the expert. Definitely, this is not for me. I'm sure that with practice, it would be much better. What I'm going to do with the scarf, I will definitely um, re-dye it, maybe dye it all black, or we'll see what I'm going to do with it, but the scarf I don't like. The headband is not bad, but I think I'll re-dye this one as well. And But the scrunchie, I'll just keep it as is. This is fine, this is nice. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you'd like to see anything else, um, just leave it in the comments. If you found something at Dollarama you would like for me to uh, review or to test, don't hesitate, comment section is there. Just to resume, tie-dye is not my thing, but, but I'm sure that there are people out there that are expert on these. They make great art. So have yourself a great day, take care, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.